In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make your PowerPoint presentation read only. This is an incredibly useful skill to have under your belt, especially if you're sharing presentations with colleagues or clients and you want to ensure that your content remains unchanged. Making your PowerPoint read only discourages editing and signals to others that your presentation is final. Let's dive into how you can do this in just a few simple steps. First things first, let's open up Microsoft PowerPoint. If you're like me, you probably have it pinned to your taskbar or in your start menu. If you don't, now's a good time as any to do so. Once Microsoft PowerPoint is open, you're ready for the next step. Now locate and open your presentation file from the opening screen. If you've recently worked on the presentation, you might see it listed right there. If not, no worries, just click the open option, navigate to where your file is saved and double click to open it. With your presentation open in front of you, we're going to navigate to the file menu. It's located in the upper left corner of your screen. Just one click and you're in. From here, you'll see tabs running down the left side. Look for the info tab and click on it. This area contains all sorts of information and settings related to your current presentation, such as permissions and preparation for sharing. Next up, we're diving into the protect presentation section. You'll find this by looking around the info area. This menu is specially designed for PowerPoint document security and includes several options to help you control how your presentation is viewed and shared. In the Protect Presentation menu, you'll see various options, but we're looking for one in particular. Always open red only. Selecting this option is a clear and straightforward way to tell PowerPoint and any future viewers that this presentation is meant to be viewed and not altered. Once you click this, PowerPoint might prompt you to confirm your choice. Go ahead and do so. After selecting Always Open Read Only, your presentation is set to open in read only mode by default for anyone who opens it. It's important to note though, that while this mode discourages editing, it doesn't completely prevent it. Recipients can still choose to override the read only status by clicking Edit Anyway when they open the presentation. Despite this, setting a file to open in read-only mode acts as a polite but clear indicator that the file is meant to be viewed, not edited. And there you have it. You've successfully set your PowerPoint presentation to open in read-only mode. Before we wrap up, let's talk about a couple of quick tips to keep in mind. First, always remember to save your presentation after making any changes to its settings, including setting it to read-only. This ensures your settings are applied the next time the file is opened. Secondly, if you're sharing your presentation via email or through a cloud service, it might be worthwhile to mention in your message that the presentation is meant to be read only. Communication is key, after all. That wraps up our guide on how to make your PowerPoint presentation read only. Whether you're sharing business proposals, educational materials, or any other type of presentation, knowing how to apply read only settings can be incredibly useful. It maintains the integrity of your work and clearly communicates to recipients that your presentation is finished and not open for alterations. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more helpful tutorials and tech tips. Happy presenting!